So at the fact that you're watching a video on else statements, I'm going to assume that you know what an if statement is. Or in other words, an if this then that statement in disguise. But if statements alone are very limited. For example, say you build a robot to get lunch for you and you tell it, if they have spicy jack quesadillas, get me one. Your robot goes to get lunch, they don't have any spicy jack quesadillas, and so it returns without getting you anything. Now, you can't get mad at your robot because it did exactly what you instructed it to do. Very literally. Computers are very literal. But that is where an if statement's partner in crime, the else statement, comes in. Let's start with what is an else statement? Well, in the most layman's definition possible, an else statement is a conditional statement that will run if the initial condition is not met. And they are very important to programming. Going back to our example, an else statement would be the equivalent to telling your robot, if they have spicy jack quesadillas, buy me one. Else, give me anything. Your robot again goes to get lunch, they don't have any spicy jack quesadillas, that initial condition is not met, and so it gets you anything. And honestly, else statements don't get any more complex than that. They are pretty simple concepts to get your mind around. Now let's look at how to use an else statement properly with code, and we're going to do this by using two different languages, because I think it can be really helpful to see how they compare and contrast, and plus, you'll pretty much learn two languages at once. So on the left is the language C-sharp using the IDE Visual Studio, which should interest you if you want to do Windows development or want to make games using a popular game engine called Unity. And on the right is the language Python 3 using the IDE Visual Studio code, which should interest you if you want to get into more general programming or data science. Alright, so here I have two brand new console projects, and if you don't know how to make a new console project in either C-sharp or Python or both, be sure to check out the video in the description. Uh, it's called how to install an IDE. And at the end of that video, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so just like the if statement lab, this else lab is gonna be pretty quick and easy because there's not much to it. So how do we use an else statement? Well, the first thing that's important to know is that else statements are completely useless without an if statement. They are 100% dependent on an if statement. To demonstrate this, over on the left in C-sharp, I'm just gonna get rid of these two lines because I don't need them. They come standard with every new console project. And then I'm just gonna write out else and then our code blocks. But you can see that we have an error. But syntactically, we did everything right as far as syntax is concerned. So what do we do wrong? Well, again, else statements by themselves are completely useless. They need an if statement to depend upon. So to fix this, I'm just going to come above the else statement and write if, and then uh, let's actually do false, and then our code blocks, and then there you have it, fixed. As you can see, we're getting no errors, we have no issues, everything is fine and dandy. So let me explain this relationship that we have going on here. So you have your if statement right here, and this code block is only going to be ran if the boolean inside the parentheses is true. But at the fact that it's we set it to false, it's going to go down and do this else statement. So in other words, if this statement is true, that means whatever's inside this parentheses, if this returns true, then run this block of code. Else, run this block of code. As simple as that. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to write to the console. So I'm going to use console.writeline. And then here I'm going to put uh, plan... A. And then I'm going to come down here in the else and then write console dot right line. And I'm going to do plan B. And then of course, I need to add a console dot read key, just so that the terminal doesn't close on us until we press a key. Uh huh. And then just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to change this to be a true value. Then I'm hit the start button up here and bring the window over right here and you can see that it prints out a plan a and again very intuitive the reason is because we said if true which if this whatever is inside the parentheses is true which we said is true then it's going to print out this and at the fact that uh it, it's true it ignores everything after that now let's say that our if statement boolean returns a false value instead well remember the logic this is checking if whatever's in this parentheses returns true then run this code else if it doesn't 
then run this code. And you can see that Visual Studio, the IDE, is giving us a little heads up that this is not going to be reachable because it's kind of, uh, they kind of put the alpha down a bit. It's a bit darker than the rest of the code, which is a nice little heads up from the IDE. And just to demonstrate that this works, I'm going to hit the start button and bring the console window over. And you can see that it prints out plan B, just as we expect. And now over in Python, the else statement works the exact same. However, of course, the syntax is a bit different. And just like the else statement in C Sharp, we can't just write an else statement by itself in Python either. So just for example, I'm going to put a zero and then hit the play button. And you can see that it returns a syntax error. And again, the reason for this is that else statements need to depend on an if statement. And so I'm just going to come above the else statement and then write an if statement. I'm just going to say if false. And then I'm going to print out what I'll just do one, I guess. And then you can see that um, I used the wrong false. That is false for C sharp, false in Python, and true in Python are both capitalized. Trips me up all the time. But there we fixed our else statement error. And just to make this look just like the program that we did in C sharp, I'm going to write plan A here, and then I'm going to write plan B there. And again, you can use single or double quotes for Python, it doesn't really matter, but just to make it look cleaner, I'm going to use double quotes for both. And of course, if I change this to a true value, then it's going to give us plan A when I hit play. Oh, I got to of course do <laughs> um, print <laughs> plan A. <laughs> My mistake. Let me just change this real quick. Print plan A and then hit play. And you can see that we get plan A and not plan B. And of course, if we change this back to false and then hit save and then hit the play button, you'll see that we get plan B instead. Because again, it checks if this statement is true, do this block of code. Else, do this block of code. Simple as that. And the final thing that I'm going to leave you with is that you can only have one else statement per if statement. For example, if you come down here in C sharp and do if this statement run this block of code, else run this block of code, and then we try and do another else, you can see instantly we get a syntax error because even if you think about the logic, this makes absolutely no sense. You're saying if this is true, then run this is true or else just run this and then or else run this that it just logically doesn't even make any sense. So that's why you can't do it. And of course in Python, we can't do two else statements back to back either. I'm just gonna type else and then print uh, plan, gosh dang it, plan C, save, hit run. You can see that we get a syntax here because it makes absolutely no sense. And yeah, there you have it. Else statements are pretty handy uh, when paired with if statements. And of course, your if statements are just regular if statements. Inject booleans in there and make some really powerful uh, logical operations. And there is everything that you need to know to start programming in regards to else statements.